What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the show. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about Radeon uh, Vega Frontier. So today PC World shut off what I guess is world exclusive look at the Radeon Vega Frontier. Uh, just a quick refresher for those that don't normally follow the GPU market. Radeon Vega Frontier is a professional grade GPU that is used by uh, data scientist, CAD designer, content producer. Uh, the equivalent uh, on Team Green is the NVIDIA Quadro GPUs. Uh, if you're expecting a consumer card, uh, this is not it. Um, we have to wait until the end of July for the official release of RX Vega. So I hope that clears that up. So PC World was able to see uh, performance versus the Titan XP in uh, Spec View Perf. Uh, the result is pretty shocking. I mean, shockingly good, that is. Vega Frontier beat the Titan XP by 28% in spec view perf and trouncing the Titan in solid uh, works by 50%. Now in Cinebench, the Vega Frontier was about 14% faster. Now before any AMD fans get excited, even PC World recognized that you, you know you're, they're basically comparing apple to oranges. Vega Frontier is a professional grade card with professional grade drivers while the Titan XP is a consumer grade GPU with consumer drivers. So any true test would be with the Quadro uh, product. Knowing that caveat, we still want to know more about the games. So while there aren't numbers to speak of, AMD uh, was pretty much curating the overall experience during this PC World uh, exclusive. Uh, PC World did say that the performance beat the GTX 1080 but seems to be on par with the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, they played Prey, Doom, Sniper Elite using DirectX 12, and of course with the highest setting uh, with native resolution of uh, 3440 by 1400. Uh, they were also clear on that FreeSync was not used during this demo. Again, take this information as info only and not that NVIDIA is beating or AMD is losing. It's just reference information for what is to come with AMD RX Vega. The key takeaway is that this professional grade uh, Vega Frontier is able to match the GTX 1080 Ti. Expect the RX Vega to beat the GTX 1080 Ti with gaming optimized drivers and GPU and memory clock set properly. That's the ta a key takeaway from all this. Okay, so on to the final thoughts of this. Um, there are two versions of this card. Uh, the base model is $1,200 for an air-cooled card. Uh, the liquid cooler card is $1,800. Uh, to put that up to the competition, the NVIDIA Quadro P5000 and the P6000 uh, range from, you know, depending on where you look, from $2,000 to $7,000, uh, you know, if you find MSRP. That's pretty crazy. A sub $2,000 uh, GPU versus a you know 2000 base and up to $7,000 competition. That's nuts. So what we saw AMD do in the CPU market, AMD is taking that same approach to the professional market. So it, you know, so, so the question is, is Nvidia overcharging or AMD undercutting? The answer is both. So how is AMD able to keep the Vega uh, you know, Vega Frontier price low is in the drivers. Uh, that's the that's the key thing here. AMD said that Vega Frontier uh, cards will have pro optimized drivers. This is to be expected, but they said that these drivers will not be certified. Bingo, there it is. In a enterprise environment, having certified drivers or certified software is very very important. Uh, certification basically shows uh, stability and security. Um, that's where most of the cost for the Quadro cards, you know, is is in that s certified drivers. You pay for the privilege of having uh, Nvidia's, uh, you know, assurance that these drivers will work 100% no matter what you use uh, when used properly, of course, you know. And so they're certified for that. So AMD is hoping that the performance is so great and that they have you know the best hardware out there with HBM2 and advanced uh, GPU that professional and enterprise uh, market will overlook that one factor and go with 
uh, Vega Frontier over the pricey uh, Quadro products. But this play is pretty tricky. Uh, sure, you know, AMD will win over uh, some of the more price sensitive customers that, uh, you know, that uh, have to nickel and dime their budget just to make sure that they get the best value for their buck. But, you know, there are other customers out there that are huge and have uh, millions and millions of, to, uh, you know, of budgeting money to spend yearly. And so my feeling is that I think they will stick with NVIDIA just because of that uh, certification process. And even if the GPU costs 6000 or more you know, per GPU, you know, just that certification is uh, important enough for them to stay uh, with NVIDIA. And so um, you know, it's a double-edged play here from AMD. So AMD um, is hoping that hardware and their GPU wins at the end of the day. And so maybe they can sway, you know, the enterprise customer uh, towards, uh, you know, their, you know, get the win their back their business. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe uh, for more content. I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.